I am Flight Sergeant Dan Kemp, 24 Squadron RF Bryce Norton. Operate on the A400s. Um, yeah, our Bryce Norton. So, uh, what I do is just a load master on there. Yeah, so it's quite difficult to explain and sell it. You, people think we just load the aircraft, when actually we do a lot of other things. So, we're here to um, facilitate. We, we can come and turn on the aircraft, apply power to the aircraft, do all the checks, make sure it's ready for our, our loading side, and then when ready, we will uh, load whatever it might be. So we can carry pallets that we've got on board today, vehicles and passengers, or, or a mixture of thereof. Uh, and we'll get all our checks and then get it ready for the loading, along with our movements team we have on board. Once that's done, we then do the check for the weight and balance, make sure the aircraft's ready to fly, um, that it's not gonna tip over, it's, it, it's suitable within the flight envelope. Um, and, and that's that for the, for the before we the flight area. We then also look at getting, we've got sort of the catering for the crew, uh, any down route, if we're going somewhere where, where the, like bookings are for hotels, um, we can carry some money to pay for stuff on the crew. Also, uh, fuel, we may have to sort that out with the guys. We can sort the route paperwork out, so there's an awful lot to it. It's just, it's quite hard to explain exactly what you do at the time, so. So I've been on the A400 for five years now. Um, I was one of the first guys, I think about uh, from the, in the UK to do it. Uh, the first guy doing the course in the UK, other guys went to Spain. And um, so 2014. But other than that, I was on the C-130J before that for, uh, well, I, don't, I can't remember, five, nine years, something like that anyway. So yeah, we've been, been here a while now. So we've got uh, just over a thousand hours now on this aircraft. So uh, we're getting there slowly. Right, so um, we're just stood in the middle of freight bay at the moment. Not sure how well we see. Out, outside, you see we're queuing up to get out of the air show. Uh, it's just the freight bay. We've got a flat floor moment. Ramp and door behind us. And then you can just see the top of the thermal curtain, which is there just to keep the area a bit warmer. Uh, bear with us, the, the signs. This is just the air show normally here. If we look forward, you can see the. Uh, this is the route kit we've got with us for uh, as we're going uh, around the world. Set of spare wheels. You can see the engineering kit, some pallets. And then in the far corner behind me is our low master workstation, where uh, that's where I. Uh, do a lot of my work and they sit there for take off and landing I think so. Yeah well, well go go for it, try it. It's actually a great career to see the world, to see a very variable job. You you'll mix you meet all sorts of people around the world doing stuff so and it is a good career. Some people might want to do it for 10, 12 years, fine, and then move on to other stuff. Um, always recommend go for pilot, because that's a really great job, but actually low master's the second best thing, and it's one of those sort of unknown jobs out there that we, with a crew, go around the world, you do, you're very, a lot of responsibility on you as well, and um, yeah, it's worth, worth, definitely worthwhile doing. Oh, great day. Uh, we were really surprised how busy it was. Absolutely, we're saying it's sunny, you guys said it's really cold, really no <laughs> nice day, actually. Um, amazing meeting the Australian people, a lot of military air, uh, military guys we met and the Joe public as well, so yeah, um, absolutely brilliant. Um, the guys will be here tomorrow as well, so come and see the A400. Yeah, we're here. Okay, so uh, my name's uh, Flight Lieutenant Chris Jarrett. I, uh, I'm based at 24 Squadron in the RAF Prize Norton, which is in the UK, about one hour northwest of London. I'm a flight training instructor, qualified flying instructor on the uh, Atlas A400M. A bit of background about me, I was uh, on the Air Force on the Hercules C-130J for 10 years, uh, flew that in various roles, transferred to the A400 five years ago, um, and I've got about 1,000 hours on type now, so uh, quite, a, uh, quite a varied background on this one, but mainly in the air transport world. Uh, it's very different to most aircraft, it's an Airbus specific aircraft, so it's really nice to handle, it's, uh, it's got great capability, you can do 120 degrees angle of bank, uh, 55 degrees in pitch, so uh, it's carefree handling, uh, very quick for a, for a propeller aircraft, so you can fly up to 37,000 feet, up to about 300 knots indicated maximum, and maybe uh, Mach 0.72, so it's quite rapid for a, uh, for a turboprop. So uh, we predominantly do most of our training in the UK and Europe, but we do, uh, we do support global operations. Uh, we used uh, this in uh, Operation Rumen in the Caribbean as part of the hurricane disaster relief. We also used it in the Far East in, uh, in East Asia 
again for similar purposes uh, in the last few years. So we do have a varied role, uh, but it's predominantly through transports uh, of cargo and paratroops, um, various things worldwide. So uh, we got here, we came via Jordan, um, then to Dubai, Diego Garcia, and then we arrived in Perth uh, yesterday, which was Thursday, and then we flew across to Adelaide last night for the air show. We're now here for two more days, and we depart on Monday back to the UK via various places on the way back. Uh, work hard, follow your dreams. If it's something you really want to do and uh, you aspire to do it, then, then do everything you can to do it. Uh, but have a varied lifestyle as well. Being a military pilot and certainly being in the military is not just about flying, it's about being well rounded and having an interest in lots of different things. So uh, follow what you want to do, but yeah, we try and be grounded and, um, and have a varied uh, interest in lots of things. Uh, it's been excellent. Uh, it's the first time I've, I've been to an air show in Australia. Uh, it's a real pleasure to be here. There's lots of nice aircraft here, so uh, it's, it's good to talk to, uh, to lots of Australian people and uh, obviously people from around the, uh, the world, so it's very good.